The last decade has seen huge advances in anti-aging technology with red and blue light therapy, radio frequency, electrical microcurrent, heat and sonic massage all very much at the forefront of in-clinic and at-home treatments. But now there's a device that draws on all of these technologies to provide an all-encompassing anti-aging solution for use at home. It's called the Lumo. It comes with a pretty complex set of instructions, but it's a powerful device operating at a strength that sits somewhere between typical at-home devices and those technologies we're more used to seeing in clinics. So today I'm going to introduce you to this Lumo anti-aging handset from Canadian company Evenskin and we'll look at how it works and my experience so far. Regular viewers of this channel will know that I've become a bit of a fan of the New Face microcurrent device, which I've been using pretty much daily to give my facial muscles a workout and tighten things up. And in particular, I've noticed a lift above my eyes and around my jawline. So when Even Skin asked if I would review the Lumo, I wasn't relishing the thought of giving up the New Face for a few months while I put this to the test. But I've had a call with a couple of the team from Even Skin just to try to understand the technology behind this device and more about the business itself. And I've got to say, I've been impressed with just how accessible they are and also by the work that's been done to bring something to the market at a price that's on par with other anti-aging devices that aim to provide clinic level results. It's just under £400 in the UK and it's around $530 in the US. But crucially, it offers more than one technology. It's not just microcurrent, which you know really does help tone the skin, but you're also adding in red and blue light therapy to target wrinkles, increase blood circulation and support collagen production, as well as blue light to calm the skin. And it includes powerful radio frequency that's penetrating up to three millimeters into the deeper layers of your skin, warming those layers for a controlled period to really boost collagen and elastin production. And it incorporates sonic massage to again support skin toning. So those are the anti-aging elements of the device, but there's also a deep cleansing mode and a cooling mode as well for those looking for skin clearing and soothing treatments. What I'm gonna be focusing on in this video and the follow-up is the combined anti-aging treatment mode. So although this device was sent to me free of charge for the purpose of independent review, I can tell you that I'm not being paid to review this product. So what I say about the product is impartial, it's independent and it's honest. Now I mentioned in the intro that this is a fairly complex device compared to some of the others around and that's because it has a number of different treatment modes. Now that makes it relatively good value for money but you also have to spend a fair bit of time just trying to get your head around all the different modes and how they work. So just as a quick overview, it's a handheld device that comes with a charging cable and plug and a charging base. So you charge it up before use and then I would give it another booster charge before each use to make sure that it's fully powered every time. And to switch it on and off, you hold down an OK button in the middle for a couple of seconds. You've got a power icon in the top right corner of the display screen to show how much charge you're on. The lines either side of the OK button allow you to increase or decrease the level of intensity of the treatments. And then the lines above and below allow you to select the treatment. So it has five different modes. There's a radio frequency only mode, which is designed to heat the deeper layers of your skin up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit for a short period of time to boost collagen production. Now it's temperature controlled, so it would not maintain that heat on your skin for more than 20 seconds. Although the idea is that you keep moving the device slowly over your skin. Now this mode also uses red light phototherapy to support the treatment. Secondly, you have an ionic deep cleansing mode, which is ideal for those with skin problems. 
You're using radio frequency in this mode and an electrical gradient to help clear your skin. A third mode uses that electric gradient, radio frequency as well, and it also pairs it with red light and sonic vibration to boost absorption of products into your skin. So the idea is you would cleanse your skin first and yet then use that third mode to help deliver serums uh, into, into the deeper layers of your skin. I told you there was a lot, stay with me. Mode four is the main event for me and most of my viewers. And it's the mode that I'm gonna be trialing for my review. It's the most powerful mode of the LUMO. It combines EMS, electrical muscle stimulation, similar to a TENS machine. But more than that, it also combines radio frequency, alternating red and blue light therapy and sonic massage to hopefully deliver the mother of all at-home treatments. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. And using this weekly, you should start to see results pretty quickly, according to the makers. But radio frequency is powerful. It's warming deeper layers of your skin. So you want to use it sparingly, no more than 20 to 25 minutes a week. And actually just using it once a week for about five minutes on the face and a few minutes on the neck and maybe upper chest, should be pretty effective. It also has a fifth mode, and that's a nice cooling mode, cooling the skin to 58 degrees Fahrenheit, and that helps reduce inflammation, skin redness, and help shrink pore size. So that's a lot to take in, but as I said, for the purposes of this review, I'm looking at that powerful anti-aging treatment mode. So let's take a look at me now using the device in that setting. So what I wanna do is a bit like the new face. I wanna use a an oil-free um, conductor gel. Now you don't need to, the instructions don't say you need to use a conductor gel and they just say use an oil-free serum. So something like hyaluronic acid or um, uh, aloe vera gel or something like that. I like this uh, New Face gel primer um, that I've, I've talked about in other videos. I'll link to the New Face video in case you wanna take a look. Oh, I'm gonna put it down my neck and I'm a little bit onto the um, chest area here as well, because I'm gonna treat everywhere. Um, I'm now gonna go ahead and select the mode that I want. So I'm going for the mode four that I talked about, which is the um, electronic stimulation, radio frequency, and light therapy. And once I've selected that, I just wanna hit the okay button. There we go, it's on. We can see the lights flashing. I'm gonna leave it at level three and see how I feel about that to begin with. Now, this is really quite strong. I'm gonna go with level two, I think. You, really, you feel it vibrating, it's heavy duty this. It's okay to use just at this level. The microcurrent is stronger than the new face. You can feel that even at level two. You've also got the massaging. It's almost like sucking. <laughs> your skin as you go. So the idea is to work from the center and slowly work out. I'm only on level two and it's quite strong. Okay, and as you get used to it, it sort of settles a little bit, but wow, you know, it is strong. There is stuff happening here. There is no doubt and there is no mucking about with this device. Uh, around the eyes, you're not to use this over the eyes itself, it's far too strong. You want to avoid thyroid area, middle of the neck and just do those outer areas and the chest area, it's absolutely fine here. Okay, so for the upper eyes, I'm going to sweep out. Actually, I've got much more used to it now, isn't that funny? It's just not feeling half as full as it did when I first started. Absolutely fine now. And actually just going in and not hovering over the skin, but pressing it into the skin is much more comfortable. Okay, there it's switched off after five minutes. But it is totally different to any other at-home device I've used in that you can feel the power and the strength of this device and actually speaking to its makers, it was something that they were um, quite keen for me to get across. That you just don't 
overuse this device. Radio frequency is powerful. Um, there have, has been quite a lot of studies. It's been in use for decades now, but still overuse is really not a good idea. So you're talking maximum 20 minutes a week. Um, and this device is going to shut down after five minutes of use. Then you'd have to move on to the next area. And at the moment, a bit like after you, you use the new face, I can feel tingling around the skin. Um, but as I said before, when I've used it the one time previously, I could feel later on in the day heat under the skin. So where it's talking about heating the deeper layers of the skin, you can feel that. You can feel that. So powerful little thing, this. So you saw me very much in learner mode there as I was getting used to using this device and building up to a higher intensity on the microcurrent and radio frequency setting and to using it for a slightly longer period of, of time with each use. Even skin are very confident that I'll see results. And after two weeks and just two treatments, I'm feeling a little optimistic. And that's because the new face has been helpful in um, lifting my eyes slightly and toning under the chin. But it hasn't helped hugely with um, what, what's starting to be like sagging around my mouth. Um, and if you look at me before I first started this treatment and then now two weeks on after two treatments, I do feel there's a slight improvement around the mouth, just a slight. And it's possibly the added collagen boosting element of the radio frequency that's making a difference. So you should start seeing more visible improvements after about three weekly treatments. And then the idea is to keep going until you feel you've got optimum results for you, after which point, you could move to maintaining your results by using the device maybe fortnightly or whichever duration works best for you. The great thing here is that unlike something like the new face, you're not having to do this multiple times a week. So it's not a big commitment for what will hopefully be good results. And I'm gonna report back in a couple of months to let you know where I end up like you I am always concerned about the safety of the products and treatments that I'm using. It's something I'm deeply conscious of. And while this device is approved by um, regulators in the US, Canada and EU, you might also find it reassuring to know the company behind the Lumo has been supplying components for other skincare technology providers, including the Thermage radio frequency system, which is typically delivered as a one-off treatment in, in clinic. And then they moved into developing devices to be sold direct to consumers. So there's some comfort in knowing that it's a company that's been working in this arena for some time, understands the technology and the science behind it, and is also visible and accessible to customers. I'm really loath to try anything now where I'm not clear on the business and the people behind the treatment that I'm using and their experience and credibility. Radio frequency is thought to be safe when used within recommended levels, but there's an element of the unknown over regular and long-term use. So I would never be gung-ho about these things. I would always err on the side of caution and I'm gonna use it for under the maximum amount of recommended time. So I'm probably gonna use this for about 10 minutes a week rather than 20 or 25. And I'll aim to reduce that when I move to maintenance mode. I'm also going to link to a helpful article on radio frequency safety by the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery so you can judge for yourself. I should also flag that on the Lumo there's a 60 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with the device and it comes also with a 12 month warranty. So as I said I'm going to report back on my results in a couple of months. Meanwhile for those with hooded eyelids like me Watch out for another upcoming review of a second device that this company produces called Venus. And that uses light therapy, heat and vibration to resurface eyelids and has already been really helpful for me with reducing puffiness. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can watch my upcoming videos. I do love to hear your comments. So let me know what you think about uh, what you've heard about this device so far and if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them and if I can't then I'm going to put them to the team at Even Skin and get back to you. For now, thanks for watching.
and I'll see you next time.